What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and kids, if you happen to be grandparents, uncles, aunts, you know, whatever. If you, if you love cars, you're in the right place. If you love uh, the beach, the ocean, you know, and, and things like that, then you're in the right place. This is Fireball Malibu Vlog. Uh, if you're new to this vlog, which some of you aren't, and you've, you know, you've uh, hung out with us for approximately 700, over 730 episodes, that's a long time. That's a couple of years. If you've been watching the show that long, I, that just, if you're new to the vlog, then uh, you'll get a chance to hang out with us because we do a lot of things with cars, uh, amazing stuff. I'm driving different things all the time. But I wanted to give you a little bit of background before we get into today's vlog because, you know, some of you, uh, you, you know me, they know some of the stuff that we've done, but you don't necessarily know why I, I love cars so much. Now, my parents, when I was a kid, uh, only bought me two things. They bought me art supplies and they bought me die-cast cars, whether they were Hot Wheels or Corgis or Dinkies or... And I, I just loved cars. And I grew up and I went to school and I became a car designer and I went into the film industry uh, at about 400 movies and TV and commercials and all that kind of stuff as a car designer and as a designer of other things too, you know, of, of, of products and sets and weapons and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Then we started doing TV shows. I did a lot of shows for Discovery and, and uh, uh, Velocity and you know a lot of that kind of stuff. Bobblehead stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about cars. Finally uh, landing here uh, approximately 30 years later uh, doing this vlog for you guys and um, building our business and uh, we're focusing on this vlog here and our children's books. We have lots of really cool children's books. Well, you, there's going to be new books coming. I mean there's going to be new books coming you know, all, all year long. In fact by March we have Three more books coming. It's good to have an update from time to time. It's just, you know, it's just a bunch of nonsense, but I just figured I'd kind of fill you in for those. Uh, you know, I appreciate those you guys that have, you've been watching the vlog, you have some patience. The new guys, new guys, you know, like that guy, that guy right there, he's, he's hanging out for the first time. He's never seen this before. He wants to have a good time. So let's stop talking. Let's go have a good time. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I lay a Martin Luther King's birthday. Some of you, that's a holiday. For some of you, you gotta work. Well, big thanks to Hyundai. They sent me the 2018 Hyundai Elantra Eco, which is what I'm driving today. I've been driving for the past couple of days. And as you know, if you've been a long time watcher of the vlog, uh, Kathy and I do a variety of children's books. There's always people that have no idea that they're even out there. I take days like this, I go hit a certain town, set up meetings all over the place. And today, I have about 10 meetings. Today, I'm headed out to Agoura Hills, driving the Hyundai Elantra Eco. Feeling pretty good about that. But when it comes to her, you better keep it sealed. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where it feels. You think that using her would get to me, and if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I will break my no, I know I won't wait. is a, a solid entry-level car. It's the eco version. I'll be giving you guys all the stats towards the end of the vlog. Gas mileage, price, all that kind of good stuff. But I've been driving it for a week. Uh, it's comfortable, it gets the job done. Design-wise, it's not necessarily, you know, that uh, gung-ho on its on its design language, but it's not meant to. It's meant to be able to, to perform a good solid function. It's an entry-level car for someone who's uh, going to college for the first time a parent who wants their kids to be safe in the car, and for it to be comfortable and simple. I get a lot of cars, I mean, a lot. And the one thing that Hyundai has going for it is build quality, it's as solid as they come. This is hermetically sealed for my protection. I cannot open my 
sandwich. You know, you know, I think that there's a, a thing that you gotta pull. I think, um, like a rip cord or something? Yeah. Good job. Man, I swear you need like Arnold Schwarzenegger to like undo your, your food here. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna be talking about something going on with MPG. Highly confidential. Yes, we can't talk about it, but we can eat. So we're gonna do that. So don't tell anybody. It's just between us. Tell anybody what? Anything. Uh, Sean's with me now because what are we doing? Going to see Star Wars. Again, going to see Star Wars again because it was just badass the first time. It was, and there's a lot of things to see. Uh, uh, yeah, it's kind of overwhelming. So yeah. I know that we missed quite a few things last time. It's two and a half hours. Uh, I've been spending the day driving around in this Hyundai, and, and I'm kind of tired of doing that. Right, you got to sit in a different chair. <laughs> oh, uh, I can't even end it any better than that. Last time we saw Star Wars, best scene. Oh man, I don't want to spoil it for people, but <laughs> the whole yeah. world knows it right by oh, now. Okay, yeah. Luke is in the movie. When she light speeds through the Death Star, that was just the greatest. Yeah, you know what? My, there was one shot when Luke comes out and he's facing all those walkers. Yeah, that was badass. That it was, was, it was yeah. very cinematic. Right, that's true. We got home really late last night from Star Wars, which was just as awesome the second time as it was the first time. As a result of getting home late, as I do here from time to time here in the, here in the boo, there's no parking on the street whatsoever. And sometimes people park right in front of my garage door, so I have to park way up the street. This morning, I'm hiking back up to my car. being is that the Hyundai Elantra is getting switched out today for the Hyundai Ascent or Accent. Not sure exactly what it is. We've got a whole slew of cars coming. <sighs> Gotta clean this one out. This Hyundai Elantra has been a really good car for the week. It's interesting to get it back to back, have the Ascent or Accent coming, whichever it is. That car is one step down from this car and then after that I'm getting the Genesis G90 which is Hyundai's luxury brand, which is a, a way, a step way above and beyond these cars. Oh man, that was a bit of a hike. <sighs> and then with all those cars coming in, I also have the Alfa Romeo Jul Julia, Julia coming in on Friday and that car I'm taking to Wheels and Waves. So if you come into Wheels and Waves on Sunday, you're gonna be able to see that car. And if you wanna sit in it, just let me know. and hot wheels or wheels and waves. Alright, okay, the Hyundai Elantra. Uh, I had the 
the limited. I think I had the limited version. Uh, there's uh, several different versions. I think like five or six different versions of the Elantra, the Sport, and uh, and the the entry level all the way up to the. Our ranges from you know sixteen thousand up to twenty two thousand. That's pretty cheap. I mean, actually, I can't believe I'm saying that because you know in my day it was like five thousand dollars. That was an entry level car, but now it's sixteen thousand uh, for this particular car up to twenty two. You still get a lot of car gas mileage. Not too bad. Twenty five to thirty two on the highway. Um, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I anticipate it's going to be consistently more as the car evolves, and uh, Hyundai is really good about that. 128 to 147 horsepower. 147 horsepower. Uh, that's pretty good for the sport sport model. You know, it gets a little bit more. But you know, you give the car to me, you let me do you know a few bag of tricks, and it has 2,000 horsepower. Okay, 1,500 horsepower. A, a good solid product, as I mentioned. Uh, they they we just swapped the car. Uh, that was supposed to be on tomorrow's vlog. They sent the the Ascent accent. I don't know which it is. I can't spell right. I think it's the accent, the Hyundai accent. And then after that, uh, the Alpha Julia is coming on Friday and then the Hyundai Genesis G90. So we got a whole slew of cars that are coming in. But if you're coming to Wheels and Waves this weekend, I will have the Alpha Romeo with me. That's it, people. I gotta go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Did I say I love you guys? Because I really do. I appreciate so much that you're hanging out with me and, you, and your new guys, the new guys that are hanging out with us. It, it's the best place on the planet to be. See you tomorrow, people. We'll see you tomorrow.